Hey guys, this is Lara with Osborne Books and More, and I'm just going to take you through our Order Pro system, also sometimes called OPOL, which stands for Order Pro Online. And this is where you will go to close out your hostess rewards and get her her free books once she is ready. The first thing you're going to do is go to the web address, which is orderpro.uba.com. You will log in using your consultant ID and the last four digits of your social security number, which is the same as your login to the back office site. Once you are logged in, you are going to see a screen that looks something like this. I have two orders in progress here, so they show up here. But if I was a brand new consultant logging in for the first time, this would be blank. What you're going to do to redeem a hostess reward is click on new order up here, right here. You can explore these other areas on your own as you need to. This just takes you back to your back office, your e-commerce, etc., and set up your order pro defaults, etc. But for a new order, you're going to click here on new order. Then you are going to fill in your hostess's information here. And you will need to put in a phone number. I usually don't put in my hostess's phone number. I usually just put in my own phone number. Um, it doesn't really matter. It's not used for anything that I have found. Um, and same with the email. This they don't. You don't get a copy of this or anything like that. So you can put in whatever email you want. You can put in your own email. You can put in the hostess's email. I can't remember if it lets you keep it blank or not, but you could try that too. All right, so once that's ordered, this tax exempt thing is only if you're doing a book fair. So for a regular Facebook party order you, or home party order, you are going to leave a blank. Down here, it is very, very, very important that you change from ship the ship to thing to hostess organization. If you leave it to as consultant, it is going to come to you and you will have to pay to ship the box to the correct hostess who is supposed to be getting her free box of books. So make sure you change that to ship to hostess. And again, you just put that in here. If you already have had hostesses and this is a hostess you've used before, you can select your name from previous hostess. Sometime during this process, it doesn't really matter what step you do it at, but before you enter your free books, you're going to come up here to combine eShow. You're going to click on combine eShow. And this is where you are going to select the party that you are closing out. And you'll just click select here on the side and that will get you the correct amount of free books for your party. And actually what I'm going to do here is go in to an order that I've already started. This is one thing that is nice is if you need to leave it for whatever reason, just clicking on orders up there. If you need to leave it for whatever reason, you can come back later and it will be listed here in your list of orders and you can go in and click select to edit it. So I'm just going to go to this one that I have already started. Um, so you can see I've already got her hostess information. I've already selected ship to hostess. I clicked on combine eShow and I selected her party. You can see right there I already selected her. It shows that I've already selected her party. And then what I'm going to do is click on next step. When I click on next step, it's going to give me a spot where I will enter the order name. This will be blank. I always just use the hostess name plus rewards. So this one is Samantha Hansen Rewards. Uh, store and folder, I just leave blank. Order type is always going to be home party, um, at least for redeeming hostess rewards. These other options we can talk about later, but if you're redeeming a book buck, you would do it here. If you were ordering supplies, you would do it there. If this was a book fair slash e-fair, you would do it there. Um, if you were redeeming an award that you got, you would do it down here. Inventory, I believe, is for doing consignment. So there are a bunch of different options here. But for a Facebook party or a home party, you're just going to come up here to home party and select that. You'll leave the PO number and you'll leave the party date. If this guest had or if this hostess had enough rewards that she is eligible for the monthly 
hostess special, you can come down here and click, yes, I've scheduled a future booking and would like to offer the monthly hostess special. And you can enter the hostess name and booking date for the future party. Uh, to be totally honest with you, there is no verification here. So if your hostess reached, say, $400 in sales and was eligible for the extra $50 in books or whatever the monthly special is, but she did not get a party booking, you can still offer it to her just by clicking this and entering fake information here, a fake name and a fake date. But I really, really, really encourage you to not do that and to use the promise of that monthly special as a way to entice your hostess to help you get future bookings. Because if every party you schedule has no bookings and it just stops there, your business isn't going to go very long. Getting bookings from parties is a huge way to keep your business going. Um, probably the most important way. And so it's really important to work on those future bookings and your hostess will help you out a lot with that if she knows that that is what she needs to do to get the extra hundred dollars in books or whatever. But let's say she tried really hard. She did absolutely everything she could. Uh, maybe she was the last in a line of like 10 friends to book a party from the same party. And so all of her friends are partied out or have already done it, whatever you can fake it if you need to. So once you've got this all entered, you're just going to come up here and click next step again. And the next step is where you are going to choose the books. This is going to list all of the books right here, starting um, with the A's. And then as you go, you'll see more and more. So this is all of our books that start with an A, then all of our books that start with a B, et cetera. You can also search by ISBN and you can always select contains or starts with. So for instance, if you were looking for a specific train book, you would you could do title contains train and click search. And I always come up here and under display binding, PH is paperback, hardback, then library, paperback, hardback, and show all. Make sure you select show all because although some books that are like a board book will show up for whatever reason, if you select PH, some of them will not. So doing show all, make sure that all of the books show up. So once you've clicked show all, you can do title contains and then your keyword. And then if you click search, it's going to pull up all of the books that we have that have the word train in the title. So let's say you were looking for the busy train book. You would see that here. And there's all the information. Now, if I click to add here, you will see that we are under full retail on this drop-down box. So this is going to be any books that your hostess wants to add at full price, maybe to bump herself up a level, or maybe she's combining um, her order with her mom's order because they want to save on shipping or something like that. But any books that your hostess is paying for full price you would go here under full retail. Once you are ready to do the free books, you would select this drop-down box and you would do free hostess rewards and your page will refresh. And you can see here, she had $140 worth of free books total. And this hostess has used 139 of them. I've already entered $139 worth of books. And again, you can do that by doing the search up here, show all title contains train search, and then click add. And then this book that I click add will pop up down here. Another way you can do it, if you have a list of the ISBN numbers, you can come up to switch to quick entry view. And when you get that, you'll get a little new box and you can just copy and paste the ISBN number. And when you do that and then tab through, it will pre-populate the book and you can just click add item to order. And so one of the ways that that works is if I can do this quickly enough to not run out of recording time, let's say you had your hostess create a wish list with all of the books that she wants to use. And then she sends you the link using this link at the very bottom. You can just go from here. So say this was my hostess's wish list. I would just do control C control V, paste it in. And then when I tab down, it prefills it. And then I can just click add item to order. And this is going to run out of recording time here in just a second. So I'm going to have to do this in two parts. But then once I've got all of my things added here, 
I can just click back to switch to normal entry view and continue entering, continuing entering the books. And I'm going to stop there and I will do part two in just a second here.